Hello, in this video we're going to look at this consumer's utility function and we are going to do a proof to show that the fraction of income spent on good X is given by A divided by A plus B where these letters represent the exponents on the goods in the utility function. This is what we're going to try to show. Starting with our consumer's utility function, we're going to get the marginal utility of good X taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good x. This a comes down in front here off the good x variable. And then we're going to subtract 1 from that exponent. And we don't have to do anything with good y. To get the marginal utility of good y, we'll take the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good y. The exponent on good y comes down in front. And then we subtract 1 from that exponent on the y term and we have our marginal utilities. Next we're going to form the marginal rate of substitution which is the marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y. So putting in our results right here. And now it's just a matter of simplifying. This in the numerator here we have x raised to the a minus 1 power. I'm going to move that into the denominator. And when I move it into the denominator, we're just going to reverse the signs on the exponents there. Likewise, I'm going to take this term in the denominator, y raised to the b minus 1, and I'm going to move that up into the numerator. And when I move it up, we're going to reverse the signs on those, uh, those uh, terms in the exponent. Now we can simply add up the y variables in the numerator and we can simply add up the x variables in the denominator. Doing that the b minus b cancels and you're just left with y raised to the power of 1 or just y. So the numerator is a times y and the denominator will be just b times x. Once again the a minus a cancels and you're just left with x raised to the power of 1 and we are now done with that part. So here's our marginal rate of substitution to get the utility maximizing consumption bundle. The marginal rate of substitution must equal the ratio of uh, the price of good x to the price of good y. We're now going to simplify this and solve this for y. So I'm going to multiply through by x and then I'm going to multiply through by b times a. So I'm moving this a and b and x here from the left hand side to the right hand side. Next thing we'll do is we'll specify the budget constraint, the consumer's money income equals the price of good x times units of good x plus the price of good y times units of good y. Where I have this y term, I'm going to replace it with our result up here. Making that substitution, you'll notice that the price of good y and the price of good y will cancel here, giving us this result. Uh, next step, I will factor out the price of good x times units of good x. So doing some factoring here. I'll simplify what's in parentheses. So this one is just, you can think of it as uh, a divided by a. So I'm doing that to get a common like denominator. And some further simplifying. And now I'm going to multiply through by the reciprocal of a plus b divided by a, and we get this result here. So this tells us that the total amount spent on good x, which is the price of good x times units of good x, will equal the following, money income multiplied by a divided by a plus b. So once again, that was our last result. And as I said, the right-hand side is just a spending on good x. So to get the fraction of income spent on good x, we're going to take the spending on a good x and divide it by income. So the spending on good x is what I have in the numerator. And the total amount of income is just m. And you'll notice that the m's cancel. And we found our result. So the fraction of income spent on good X will equal the following. Okay, that's it.